Hello ladies and gentlemen, thank you ever so much for clicking on this video and welcome back your lovely faces to another video here on the channel. As you can see by the thumbnail and by the title, are we finally getting rid of AH from all future DCEU movies? Is she being erased? Well, according to someone who has brought a lot of leaks out which came true and to another supposed Hollywood insider this could be the case and they've confirmed a little bit of tidbit so in something that's normally a mess this could actually be a little bit of a golden nugget so let's get straight on over there so this is coming from my time to shine when spider-man no way home was uh, ramping up to come on out on the 15th of december for about a month and a half to two months my time to shine they were just leaking so many things. There was photos of outfits, what the villains are going to look like, what their outfits were. You had Spider-Man outfits, if people haven't seen the film yet, but, you know, it's January now. It's been out for three weeks. I think we could talk about certain things in it. And there was just so many things that they brought out and showed which actually were true. So, when you have something like this, where they say, I don't usually tweet about DC stuff, but I have a friend who has seen The Flash... And the movie will erase every movie Snyder has done. Man of Steel, Batman v Superman and Justice League never happen now. Erased from continuity. Affleck and Cavill both gone. So with that one there, Snyder has been very, very implicit in it being made. The DCEU. His stories, his ideas, he's basically shepherded and been the godfather of this whole early Justice League idea. Going into it, they're the ones, he was there writing the stories. He even had a layout of where the films were going to go. It was going to be like Justice League 1, Justice League 2, 3. But they weren't just going to be like Avengers, you know, Avengers, Avengers Age of Ultron and all that. They were literally going to be like Justice League, Justice League Part 2 and Part 3. But then they're going to have this simple stories in between them, like The Batman, which was meant to be done by Ben Affleck, not the one we got coming out in two months' time. So there was a lot of stuff that uh, Zack Snyder was woven into. And as you can see, Soups is the one who tagged me in it yesterday, and there's me and my Michael Scott reply, because it's just like, how do you get rid of possibly one of the best Batman, you know, which is Ben Affleck, and how do you get rid of Man of Steel which is one of the most underrated superhero films ever but it does carry on they've also said Supergirl is now the main super person so the main Kryptonian on Earth Michael Keaton is Batman and Batgirl will become the new Batman after her film her film is going straight to HBO Max does she uh, you know is Warner Brothers confident in that the movie is not going to do well. You know, their confidence has just been, oh, we'll just get rid of her. Just put that movie on HBO Max. Batgirl has the potential to be a good film. It really does. Some of the cast and some of the crew behind the film, it's like, right, okay, this could be good. The directors are the ones who directed Bad Boys for Life, the third entry in the Bad Boys uh, trilogy. And in my eyes, the best one is just... Everything just hit perfect with the story beats, with the comedy, with the action. It was proper, yes, back in the old school kind of uh, action movie. Then you've got the writer. I believe it's Christina Hodgson. I hope I'm saying that right. And because she actually done the best Transformer movies in my eye, which is Bumblebee. I loved Bumblebee. But she also did the atrocious Birds of Prey. So I'm a bit like, oh, what's going to happen? Is it going to be apples and pears? Or uh, is it going to be something that is just going to make everyone go, oh, yeah, that should never be made. But if they're saying that she becomes the new, the new caped crusader is the best way to say it, of Gotham City, then it's, uh, you know, I'm like, it could work. It may do it. But getting rid of Superman, Henry Cavill, and the guy, everyone loves him, you know? But then they went on with this. So the Flash movie, it ends with Flash, Supergirl and Shazam forming a new Justice League. So where's Aquaman? Where's Mera? Are they gone? I would assume so, especially with Mera, because Mera is now no longer involved 
in the future of this franchise because Zack Snyder's Justice League at the very end, there's her, the Flash, Cyborg, Batman, and Deadshot, and the Joker. Well, that is basically being erased from continuity. Basically saying, oh yeah, those films existed. It's basically like uh, how Batman, Batman Returns, and Batman Forever, and the atrociously amazing Batman and Robin. You know, that's what they're saying these films are now. So, in my eyes, that kind of says, yeah, she's gone. But it carried on. Shazam. David Sandberg. Shazam is joining the Justice League 2022, starting out with some great news. David Sandberg is a guy who has written and directed Shazam 1 and 2. He doesn't even know what's going in there. But then it does go on to say, I'm assuming Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman is still involved going forward. Yes. So how do you bring her coming forward even though they're getting rid of Batman v Superman and the Justice League films when she was one of the key players of them? So I'm assuming they're just going to keep her in the past and just do films Wonder Woman 95 or whatever next. And it's going to be atrocious because Wonder Woman 84 was just so bad. The first Wonder Woman movie was amazing. And I really can't see how they messed it up. But as we were saying regarding all of this, the people who, you know, who do actually go out there and get these spoilers and clarified and everything else... Like, My Time to Shine, we don't know who they are, but they did come out with some really good stuff. But Grace Randolph, I'm not a huge fan of her, because a lot of the stuff she says, it's just like, oh, come on, you do steal other people's work, which I think she's basically done here, because we got 617, and this was 434, so the first one was, yeah, so it's a bit timing, roughly. But she can, as I've told you, with the update, the Flash... Ben Affleck's Batflex final appearance. Old footage of Henry Cavill used on TV. New Justice League is formed. Supergirl is new Superman. Keaton working with Black and Eerie picks Batgirl as a new Cape Crusader. This is new DC. Let's be open-minded. Give it a fair shot. Well, it could be good, but it could be bad. But then obviously it does go on to say about the Keaton Canary and Batgirl stuff happened in Batgirl's movie. No fun covering all these films if you've got a hateful perspective. It's too draining. But I'm going to give my best to soldier on. So when even you've got scoopers who are saying, this is just some of the worst ideas ever. Yellow Flash. This is an awful idea. It is. It's almost like they're just trying to pander now to a certain crowd. But if they want to pander to a certain crowd, but they get rid of her... I'm all for that, to be honest with you. Even though you'll be getting Michael Keaton back, which, for me, I grew up with Michael Keaton as my Batman. And I'm like, you know what? I want to see him back on screen, so we got that. But then you've got here, Hamada, Sarnoff, and Emmerich. Warner Brothers, you know, these are the head honchos now of Warner Brothers as well. You're a pack of fools, every last one of you. Yeah. So, the way I see it, it's almost like the golden nugget thinking that she could be gone. And if rumours are true that she does get, uh, she is mortally wounded or whatever, you know, as some rumours have been saying that she, in the beginning of this film, then I'm all for it. If she's gone, she's gone. Great. But that also makes me think, is this the reason she's put forward a $100 million claim saying she's lost out on stuff? Is she blaming Johnny Depp for her being fired, but really this is what's happening. They're getting rid of all the characters and she's just trying to blame him for it. That there, I wouldn't put it past her. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell for future updates, and I'll see each and every one of you soon.